Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. The man for all seasons, Chapman. ChapmanHeating.com. Well, it's been just over two years since Sweden-based Saab announced plans to build a major advanced manufacturing and production facility as part of the Purdue University-affiliated Discovery Park District. That new $37 million aerospace facility will manufacture what is known as the aft or middle section of the advanced jet trainer aircraft that will be used by the U.S. Air Force in partnership with Boeing. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman has the latest on the start of a new era for Saab in West Lafayette. From Amelia Earhart and her crew at Oakland, California, ready for her great aerial adventure around the world flight by way of the equator, a journey no pirate has yet attempted. Two. That's one small step for man, one Two aviation legends that left an indelible mark on Purdue University. In fact, you could argue their legacy, in part, has helped attract some of the top engineering talent in the world to West Lafayette. Purdue's a, a leading innovator, as well as has uh, the top engineering schools in aerospace and engineering. So perhaps it's no surprise that Sweden-based Saab decided to expand its U.S. footprint in advanced manufacturing on Purdue's campus, officially becoming an American company. By having that talent base uh, readily accessible to us, it really promotes um, the culture of growth and, and innovation and product design. That product is the T-7 Red Hawk, an advanced trainer jet for the United States Air Force, and the first brand new fighter trainer for the military branch in over 60 years. This is an important program for the United States Air Force because it's replacing an aging fleet. The T-38 was first flown in 1959. Um, and has been uh, the, the trainer of choice for, for tens of years since then. Uh, but it's reached its end of life, so the maintenance costs are extremely high, and they're also not as reliable, and the T-7A fills that need. And things are moving right along to start production, including the completion of Saab's 100,000 square foot facility. I see these blue lines on the floor. Is that going to indicate kind of where the manufacturing process is going to happen, machinery? It is. Our portion of the aircraft is the aft section, which is essentially the entire aircraft minus the wing, engine, nose cone, and cockpit. It's hard to imagine right now. So, I mean, literally, it's huge, right? Is, so will it, will it, it span? It, you know? it, will, it will fill the entire volume of, of this factory, correct. So there'll be people working on it from up top correct. and below. And below, correct, and inside. So given that the, the aircraft is kind of like a hollow tube, it's too big for us to do all of the work from the ground. So therefore, we install a, a second story so that we can do work safely from above. Because generally, you can take this. So when this is fully functional, how many folks will be on the floor? So we'll have a little over 130 employees out on the factory side. And while the new T-7 Red Hawk may be the most technologically advanced trainer jet ever made, its name is a nod to one of history's most celebrated group of pilots from World War II. Still one of my ambitions as a combat pilot. The tail of our aircraft is painted red, which is an ode to the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II. We look to pay homage to that. What an opportunity like this produces is you're actually talking to someone that would employ our student. And we want our student to have relevant experiences, so we're excited to be able to, to work closely with them as a partner. In a perfect world, let's say, you know, 10, 15 years from now, how do you envision Saab here in West Lafayette? So there's going to be an incredible amount of growth. Uh, we have high expectations that we will recruit uh, best-in-class talent. And uh, as we continue to, to be a, a leader in the aerospace market, the possibilities are, are limitless. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.